Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is part two of two. If you haven't seen part one, where I go through a photo shoot and show you how I import the photos and then select the keepers that I go ahead and edit, go ahead, click up on the screen right now or at any time during this video on YouTube, click the info button and you can go ahead and click to part one to see how I make the selections of the images to decide which ones I'm going to go ahead and edit. So in this video, part two, I'm going to go ahead and edit the 106, is it? It's 106 images. Now, it will probably be less images by the time I'm done, but they were what I thought were the best images that told the best story of what I was going for. So what I'm gonna do now is go through these images and you're gonna follow me as I edit them and see every step of the way with how I edit. So that's what we're gonna do here and I'm gonna talk you through it. So if you missed part one, like I said, click that info button at any time so you can go see how I ended up with this and you can see the images that I ended up not choosing. So what I'll probably do here is at the end, do the best of the best of the best with honor sir selection. So here we go. Now it's time to decide what do I want to do with the images. So we get into the develop tab here. Is this gonna be a black and white or is this gonna be a color? Now a lot's gonna depend on uh, that orange in the background. I mean, the color is thick. It's, it's, it is thick, and I end up making it thicker go, by going down and hitting the medium thing. And I don't normally talk my way through the edits, so, so that's, I'm just gonna do this. You can see some vignetting to the side, and that's because of that uh, 14 millimeter. My exposure's pretty good. Shadows are gonna pump this up, but don't go too far, because then it looks too fake. You see how fake she looks and her jeans look fake? We know it's dark where, she, well, it's dark in the background here because the light is on her. But I like this, but to tighten it up, I like to do this. Tighten that up, a little bit on the clarity, pull the blacks down here. And it's gonna be that challenge, not too far. I mean, I love the black and white feel, but we don't have the orange of the wall, which really denotes what it's like over there. So what I can do is do this two different ways. I can save a snapshot as color, can always come back and redo it, and then I can switch into my black and white by black and white over here. I'm not using any of the quick keys today because I don't have the keyboard cover on there. I mean, I'm so, I love this. And yes, I do blow out the, these highlights, but nobody cares about these highlights because they're lights, but there is still detail in there. But look, look at that. I mean, that's sweet. Let's look at the color now after that, way too punchy. I mean, it's not too punchy. I like the black and white. So let's go ahead and save a preset, uh, not a preset, a snapshot of black and white so we can go see the color. We can see the black and white. What I want to do is pull some yellow out and see what happens. Just a little bit. That's what happens if you add the yellow. Pull back. I like that. It's, it's not as yellow, so it's, it, it's a little cooler, going up just a little bit. Some other things you can do down here we can change that orange, take out orange from it if we needed to do that. That's the uh, saturation, the luminance you can play with, but I really don't want to do that. I don't play down here too often. Wow, just look at all the things you can do with the colors. It does, we're, gonna, we're not gonna play here right now. Just know that you can play there. So boom, we got those two images we've got. I'm gonna update this by update current settings, back to the black and white, and I, this is what I do, I just lean in here and I tweak some of this. If I think the highlights are too gone, see, I can bring some of them back. Just don't go too far with this. Sometimes you come all the way back without really detracting from your image, because this is at zero. It, it is a little bright, and then I can pull back on the highlights and it doesn't really detract from the image. So I go ahead and I update this, and there's only 105 left. <laughs> so this I know isn't really a good image, but, but we'll edit it anyway. just because maybe it's not that bad. Maybe a little green. Now it's too magenta. Yeah, it's still too green. Minus five. Now it's too magenta. Right about there, and let's see what we got with the yellow. I want a little bit more, mm, not too much. Nah, it's not gonna be a good black and white. So it's just gonna be a, a color like this. Now look, clarity, you can do that. I hate this, do not ever do that, and don't do that. That's what happens when you mess with the clarity slider and you go way too far. I don't mind it being tight, but there's not much needed in this image. There really isn't much needed. So I'm gonna go with that and move on to the next one. 
I don't think that a black and white would work here because the color is the contrast that separates everything. Everything just becomes the same gray middle tone here. So what I'm going to focus in on here is her exposure for that. Boom. Let's go with some, uh, some of this, a little bit of that. Let's get a happy tree and some happy paintings here. And I don't have to worry about her, her face here. I just have to worry about the skin tones just a little bit. Just a little bit too harsh. See, I don't think that a black and white would work with this. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with this. I don't know that it's a keeper, but we'll stick with it. See, I, go, I don't edit every single image. I make my selections, then I edit the images, and then at the very end, I'll pick the best of the best of the best with honors, and I'll re-tag those probably red. That's just the method that I personally use. But this is editing, guys. This is what happens. You just go through the process, and you make changes. And you see, does this work better? Does this not work better? It is a game of pulling sliders and seeing what works best. I'm not a fan of presets, especially ones that you buy. I think that it's a cheap way of doing things. You could create your own presets, and then once you have your own presets, they're starting points. They're never, in my opinion, ending points. There are ways to start and then you tweak from there. So while I'm here on this camera, if you haven't subscribed here on YouTube, go ahead, click the subscribe button, popped up on the screen hopefully, and you can subscribe to get the videos as they go live. So here we go. Ah Hing. Now I know I may have better images of a Hing later, but this is a pretty good shot. Then we'll decide black and white in a minute. Ah, oh, black and white's cool. Ah, oh, black and white's going to be pretty good. And there is no reason, there is no rhyme or reason that I do black and white versus color. It's whatever feels right for that particular image. Now, do you see I do ride my contrast? I do pump the shit out of the contrast. Like, look, this is flat as flat. I wanted to say something else. And this is boomy. That is boomy. There's nothing wrong with making Ah Hing boomy. And that is his name, A-H-I-N-G, Ah Hing. Don't want to do that with the shadows. Don't really want to mess with the highlights too much. Let's see what the color version would be. The color's not bad, but I'm gonna go with black and white because I like Ah Hing in black and white. Now, I wish this was a little sharper, uh, but it is from a distance. We're gonna tighten it up. Boom, we just tightened it up. Get our curves going. Black and white all the way with this. All the way May. Maybe even go even further on my cur curve. My point curve to strong. Stronger, fighter. Command Z. See this now? There, we got the tightness of the eye. Pull on the highlights is gonna fill in this area back here. Pull back some detail back into Todd's forehead without going too far. Remember, he's next to a window this time. So I don't mind that. A little bit on the clarity side. A little bit on the black side. We've got a preset here for, for, uh, for uh, the sharpening. Now, the next image is exactly, pretty much exactly the same. So I'm going to hold down the Command button, select that, and I'm going to hit Sync because they were two shots in a row. So that way we're syncing the settings. But I don't like this one, so I'm going to get rid of it. And I like this one. It's just better because it has more of the eye. We've got things on multiple layers that are making you draw into this image. Um, I'm not going to edit this one. It's too tight of a hing, and it doesn't show me enough detail of the situation. Why is he standing here? Who is he? What is he doing? It doesn't tell the story. Now, with other uh, images in a story. It may. This can't stand on its own. It doesn't tell me a story of who he is, what he's doing, where he's at. But I like his little jerry curl that's going on. Same thing. Get rid of that. No story. We got a boom thing here. This is interesting. She may like it. But I'm going to keep this one. Well, I might as well... I don't know. They're both pretty similar. But I'll, I'll edit it real quick. I'm feeling black and white. It's funny, I grimace. I grimace as I'm like pulling the slider because I'm like, well, please do what I want you to do. See, these may be good for on set. They may like something like this. You never know because it has the boom, it has this, it has this. It has a lot of different elements in it. And like I said before, being that these images were taken right next to each other, boom, sync it, and I've got this. And you can decide. Um, she may like this. This may be a, a fun shot for her. I don't know that black and white is the one 
I'll stick with the color just because not the not the best in the world. So I don't always spend the most amount of time on it. I get it to where I think it looks the best. I mean, isn't that the point? Get it to where I think it looks the best. Pull back on the yellows, and there we go. Something along those lines, maybe a little too green again. Boom. Right there. Next shot. I mean, one of these is good, and it's not this one. I'm just trying to see what is the best. Subtle, less, I mean, they're basically the same. I'm just going to go with this one. Mm, Got to be careful with the contrast here. A little, you see, see, you see what's happening? This orange wall and all these lights are, are popping back into her face. But that looks, nah, I'm, I'm feeling the color for some reason this time. Just going to pull back on the yellow a little more, make it more natural. Nice and sharp right on the eye. Pull back on the clarity and not do this. I don't pull back too far. That's fine. We'll live with that. Here's Ah Hing now. You see the difference between that other one? I already got rid of it, but look, there's definition. You have the image, uh, you have the crane that he's working on. But I don't like this one. I'm getting rid of it because I know there's better ones of Ah Hing. Charlie's jeans, the orange wall is going to wreak havoc. We could go black and white, but then the orange wall doesn't pop as much when you get rid of it. So we got Sebastian watching here. Wow, that's thick. See how thick, see how quickly that did? Let's pull some of the shadows out of that again. And you see we're working with Todd's closer to the window, so he's a little brighter. I don't want to get too, nah. We need that yellow in there because that's what makes it natural. We'll go with that. No, it's not in focus. I'm getting rid of it. It's not in focus either. But how are these other ones? Without, I didn't get all the Charlies in there. I'm going to leave this because this is going to be something I got all the Charlie in there. He's going to end up using it on Instagram. And I'll, and I'll do that for the client. He'll get this. Black and white. Either way, but I, I think we got to go with the color because I got a nice bright orange wall. And moving on, going to get rid of this one. More of Todd looking at the, the camera. Or sorry, well, we got Matt Martin here in the background. This may live in black and white. Oh, it's a tough choice. That orange is strong. That orange is really strong. Yeah, too strong. And I know that I pumped that, but you know, I lose a little bit in Todd's eyes, and I don't want to do that. Color? Well, if I did do the color, I'd have to pull back a little bit. And this is what goes through my mind. You got to decide what's best. What are we thinking? Let's do the color. Sometimes it's just hard to choose. Twenty-nine. All right, so we got that. So these are probably going to be very similar. Mouse, where'd you go? There we go. So I can select these. I can sync them together because they're all going to be pretty darn similar. And no, they're not because my exposure changed. My exposure changed, which means I just have to correct for that. One of these I can make, but see, I like that in the background with the, yeah, see, look at that light. Look at that light around him. Mm. We're going to stick with the color for now. We got Sebastian in front of the wall. I don't want to go with that one. And see, I'm, I'm, I'm editing as we go along here. Get those colors to pump up, and it's not really taken away from him. This is definitely not a black and white. This is what black and white would look like. Ah, come on, he's got his orange color of the wall. We're going to go with the orange color of the wall. And we'll go with that. I don't feel that one so much, and I don't feel that one so much. I don't like the positioning. And this is just what happens. And this is going to be, i got to pull back because the exposure was off. Should it was too bright. Tighten it up. Can probably live with black and white on this. But i got to pull back the exposure a little more. 
tighten that up, boom. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. There we go. We're going to live with that for now. Actually, I'm going to pump that up even more. I like this better than I like this. I don't like the framing, cutting his knees off. See, did that a little better. I hope you guys are enjoying this look. If you're enjoying this, give it a thumbs up. Give it a comment of some sort. Just let me know what you think. Uh, if you like watching these types of videos, leave me a comment because I will do more of them. If you like watching me edit this many photos, I will, by all means, I will do that. That's, uh, just let me know. Leave a comment down below. That is so vibrant. Weird when you shoot vertically at, what am I at, 15 millimeters, you get this oblong head thing going. That's on fire. That background is, is on fire, so I'm pulling back. Yeah, I want the color. Same image, I can sync it, boom, synced. Yeah, I like that one, the head down, looks good. Wish I didn't cut his fingers off. Bad composition on my part. Gonna get rid of that one. Todd's got the Todd smirk going on. What's in the, what's in the reflection? I don't know. Or sorry, the, the shadow on the wall. Ooh, God, that's hard to tell. We'll go with the color. That is, I'm gonna pull back a little bit because that is harsh. These are the same, actually the next three are, so I can just do this, sync them, boom. But that's better. That just tells a nice little story. So they both work. We got Joffy. See, this is void of color for the most part, but actually the color may work or I may make the black and white work. Let's just see. Nah, the black and white's gonna work. Watch what I do. We'll make Joffy nice and thick here. Now the highlights in the background, see that? So this is with the highlights at zero. This is, this is important. You can bring the highlights back and not lose Matt. Watch, we're gonna bring the highlights back and it's not really messing with his face too much. Just a little bit, looks like he has a little bit of sunburn. But from a distance, from a distance, it's not that bad. And yeah, I could probably spot do up there. Um, I just don't ever spot do anything. I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do this. It is an option, you can do it. I don't really spend my time doing that because I think it looks fine. And th th you could call it lazy, you could call it just not wanting to sit there and tweak every little freaking file so far. I'm gonna stick with this because I still like it. Same, similar to this image, boom, sync it, DeMaio it, boom. Not as good, but it does show his hands. Well, I'm gonna get rid of this. If I had to choose between the two, that one. This one, not as good either. This is just better. I like Hing's, where Hing is and that wall. We don't have this bogey here of Dan. Boom, gone. Don't like that one either. See, this is what happens. I'm gonna sync this. Let me make sure my exposure is the same. 320th at 3.5, 400th at 3.5. So not much is gonna change. I may just need to tweak it, but this is a quick way that you can get through your edits is go like this and then subtly tweak after you make that sync. I still like how thick that is. Boom. One, two, one, two. Let's see. Strong contrast. Either way, they both look really good. Sebastian's eyes are closed, gone. Didn't notice that the first time. Don't like this one as much as I like this one with Todd looking at the screen. His uh, interest is on the screen. Boom. Pull back a little bit. The color's beautiful in here. How's the black and white? Black and white's good too because this sometimes seems like a snappy McSnap shot. But let's 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 do this. What do we got? I mean, black and white. I mean, the color is good. Look, I'm gonna save the color here as a snapshot, but I'm gonna end up with the black and white because it just seems more on set, like this.
and I do sit really close to my screen. Boom. I'm getting rid of, I mean, yes, it has a Charlie's jeans in the background, but it doesn't have any other thing going on. And I'm gonna get rid of that, because I don't like Joffy. Ah, ah, I'm gonna go with it. All right, let's sync it. Let's sync it from the last one. Black and white, let's see how it works. It works. It does work. 5,000 ISO. So these are two images. Get rid of this one, go with this one. Yeah, obviously I didn't need to do that. You don't have to yell at me for that. But I think that this is gonna work in black and white. Boom, nice and thick. So here's what's going through my mind when I'm doing this. I'm gonna tweak this a little more, but I'm thinking about how can these guys use these images. Todd's gonna to use them for his social media. Uh, Sebastian McCall's gonna use them for his social. Uh, and, the, and it just, I like the photo story. Again, I like telling photo stories. So this is the process that I go through to edit. I sit here, not really talk to the, I don't really talk to, uh, the screen, but I'm doing this. I'm talking you through the process of what I'm doing as I go through this. So, so that's what we have. And I'll let you know if you haven't signed up for the Fronos Photo email list, you can do so. Look for the orange box over on the website. Put your name, email address in it, hit send it, and I will send you a free guide to capturing motion in low light situations as well as some free stuff. More free stuff. All right. This is kind of a waste of a shot. But maybe... Oh, maybe it works, and may, I don't want to go too far. I know I keep going too far, but we'll, we'll pull it back right there so the jeans can live. And now you can make it a little sharper, not too far. You don't want to make it too harsh. It also brings out the noise. You want to know why you get this grain? You want to go all the way up with this? Because you're, you're basically you're adding pixel grain to that stuff, whatever that means. I like this one better, getting rid of that one. Getting rid of this one because it looks like he's eating that. Getting rid of this now because of the hand, I don't need it because I already have stuff that's good. So let's go through here and see what works. I like this. There's a strong backlight. This is shooting into basically the window, but we've got it diffed off, AKA diffuser. This may not work at medium. It works anyway, I'll, I'll go with it. A Little bit there, a little bit there. I don't think this one's in focus. It is, it's just the backlight. So what I can do here is sync all these because they're all very similar. And then I can decide to tweak individually in here. Get, get my exposure. I can always play, ah, the highlights, they're good though. I see what I did here. A little bit there. Yeah, it's nice. Let's resync these as I make subtle tweaks. Nice. Nice. I mean, I'm going to live with these. I'm going to live with them. Exposure, checking my exposure. They're all the same, too, so I should be able to just do this. But I'll decide if I want to be in color. Ah, see, that's nice. Obviously, the color doesn't work here like that because it's too far. It's too far, but I do like... Let's get back to the... Oh, those are my presets. I'm in the wrong spot. Duh. I want to get back to the black and white, just in my history there. So these are all very similar. So either So that's different. These are similar. Get rid of that one. We got this one. I like that because of the hand. I'm get rid of this one. I want to sync the rest because I do like the black and whites of this. I'm just looking. I mean, obviously, I'm just looking. They all work. They all live. They all play. So I'm not, I'm not going to get rid of them. They may not be the best of the best, but together, I like the focus. Yeah, look at that. That one right there. Look at that. A little too bright. Pull it there. All right, let's see. Probably going to go with the color here. Everybody watching. Let's go like this. I sound like Bob Ross right now. 
So being that these are all going to be similar, we'll go like this. We'll sync them. I don't think they're the greatest shots. I like that. I like her look. It's cute. There. Oh, that's that's cute. Look at that. That's great. Look at Sebastian having a great time. Only thing he's got these bogeys coming out the top of his head. Not a big deal. She has her eyes closed. Going to get rid of it. Better. Eyes open. Better than eyes wide shut. Pull back the highlights slightly for Todd. This. I can live with this. Watch. I'm going to live with it. We're going to live with it. Here we go. We're going to make it. We're going to bring it. We're going to bring it to life, maybe. It's not that good of a shot. But I like the way Meredith looks in it. <sighs> Sometimes you just run into them. It's not the greatest. All right. We'll, we'll go with that. Get rid of that one. Boom up. Probably want to go with color. But really, all I'm focused on is right here. Everything else is going to be out of focus. Pull back because it was too pink, too magenta. Get some linear up in here. magenta E again. Get rid of that magenta. We're gonna, let's pull up the yellow. Mm, no. It's just this very distracting photo. May work better in black and white. Or it may just not work at all. Goodbye. Sounded like AOL from back in the day. This is a very difficult shot to look at because it's such a, a narrow, shallow depth of field right here. I'm going to keep it because he'll probably like it. But such a shallow depth of field. Don't like that because it looks like he's... That's better. This is, by the way, and this is a 24 to 70. Here, let's play some games here. It's just on the hand. This is a very painful image. It may not even... None of these may even work. Because it just looks like I missed my focus. It's painful. Goodbye. Get out of here. That's better. Whole point was to get the boom up in there. Thank you for bearing with me as we edit. I'm going to go with the color, even though it looks snapshotty. Maybe I'll make that one black and white. That's just a game you play. Sometimes it's a give and a, a give and a take, a give and a take. Boom. Boom. Let's get some of this in there, right there, right pow, right pow. I wish I had more room next to the boom over here to compensate for this. It's not even, but it's not, it's not a deal breaker. Let's uh, pull back the highlights slightly. All right, what do we have here? Is this Ahing again? Feeling you, Ahing. I'm feeling you, Ahing. Eh. There is a lot of, lot of brightness in this image that's the taking away from Ahing. But maybe he'll like it. I don't know. It's like this brightness is definitely crushing this. I could burn in there, but I'm not going to do it. Those are options that you do have. Nah, right. We'll give it to you, Matt. Okay, now I'm tightening it up. Boom. One more. Boom. Yeah, I say boom for the boom op. I'd like it to be more contrasty, to be honest with you. There's too much in his face. And yeah, we're going to go with that. So this works. I'm sure Maria will like it. Yeah, nice color. We'll go with that. A little magenta-y. A lot of magenta being thrown up in there, but we'll leave it. I like that look on her. So my photo, oh, nice. Ooh. I mean, she looks beautiful here. Nice color. Nice shape. I think color is where it's going to be. I don't think this too much. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll sync this. Boom. Too much. 
Yeah, we got nice guys. I don't know. I guess the color is gonna work. I know we have better ones than that, and that's better than that. All right, we gotta edit Maria's butt. You know, it's for the Sebastian McCall right there. That's what it's for. Boom. That looks good, actually. The pants. Don't like Todd's look. Don't like Todd's look. Nah. Yeah, I still love this shot. Get rid of this one. Get rid. Get, and we're gonna go with this. The yellow is really tough on Ah Hing. Ah, uh, come on, Jared. Let's get this. See that background diff. This right here with all that light bouncing in is so tough to work with. So tough to work with. Let's see if what the highlights. If we can even. Nah. See, they don't even bring Scheiser back. Color. Just want to see what would happen. And white. I'm gonna go with this. I think Hing's gonna like this a lot. Yeah, it's focused right there on the eye. We're almost done. Gone. Gone. Don't like it. Gone. Don't like it. Doesn't match how awesome this one is. Ah, oh, the color's better. For 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 once here, I think the color. I'm living with it. I'm liking it. Let's tighten it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm liking it. Like this shot. No, I don't like the way Todd's. Nah. All right. Yep. I'm gonna go with the going going with the second one. Do this a little bit. Do some of this. Pull back on that. I don't know. Let's see. I got some leeway with the black and white. Tightening it up right there. Let's tighten it up a little more. That's where we're going to live. Sebastian. Obviously, the lighting was a little, you know. Exposure's not the best here, but we'll just live with it. That's better, but is she in focus? Yep, she's in focus. Go like this. We're going to tighten this up. This is fun. No, I don't want to go too far on that. Black and white may work. Watch. Let's see. We'll see. I'll bring it back a little bit. Yeah. Too bright, too bright. Let's do it. Let's do this. So we'll, we'll, we'll process for Maria here. And that's good. We got Sebastian smiling. The jeans look good. Go up with the clarity a little bit. Couple more here. This is processing, guys. This is what you do. It's where a lot of the time is spent. Normally, I'd have some music on. We're just checking to see how the jeans are looking. So we got Ahing. That's similar to the one we already have. I like that one. Get rid of this one. That's better. Yeah, see, it's part of a scene. Looks good. Boom. Good. That's good. She's not eating that. What's the black and white look like? Nope. Going to be with the color because there's so much color going on in there with the, with the walls. Looks good. Takes us to this. We are almost home free. Got Maria. Because there's so much color, this has to be color. Got the jeans in there. We're going to fill some shadows up into that. They used to call it fill light. Let's pull back a little bit on these highlights. Let's go a little bit onto the exposure. Boom. Love it. Going to the next one. Todd. Oh, yeah. Hi. My name's Todd. I just need you to do this. And there we go. Like it. So that is where we're going to leave it. 
I'm done with this. I'm not going to go through. I'm going to go through. You want to do best of the best? Okay, so there's a lot of photos here, and this has taken a good amount of time. I don't know how much time. So why don't I just finish up, do the best of the best, go through and, and tell you which ones I think are the best, and then we'll wrap it up. Boom. That tells the story. Select it. Red. Not so much telling the story. Nah. I like this of a hing. That's good. Love that of Todd. Not so much. Yeah, we'll keep this as a number six because it helps tell the story. I like that of Sebastian. Todd's focus here. Sebastian good there. I love this of Sebastian. I like this one more than this one. I like that of Todd. Boom, chin down, he brought it down. Yeah, I mean, these are both good. They both are laughing, so that works. Love this one of Matt. That works as well. That plays. That plays. I like Todd there. like that one. And then here's where we're going to pick. So these are very similar, so I'm going to go with that. Then we got Ah Hing helping with the focus. Boom. See, these are all different, a little bit different. I can live. Oh, I like this. I like this interaction. Changing up the angles. Boom. Boom. I can live without, but I like the way that Hing looks here. So I'll go with one of them. The reveal going. I know that I like this one. Don't like that, don't like that. Not so much. This is bad processing. See, sometimes you capture the bad processing at the end. We'll just pump it up a little bit, but I'll go with it. No. No, no, yes, yes, yep. Still love this one of a hang. Love that one. Like that shot. Not as much as I like this. That works. Helps tell the story, helps tell the story, helps tell the story, helps tell the story, and then Todd at the very end. So we finished, we started with... 355, and if we go down to the red ones, we got 40 keepers for the day. For, not 40 keepers, there's more than 40 keepers for the day, but there's 40 shots that I think tell the story the best, and I could whittle it down even more from there to get to 20 of the best of the best of the best with honors. Now, delivering 40 of these to Sebastian, he's going to go nuts. He's going to love it. The crew's going to love it. They have photos for themselves that they can put on their Facebook pages. Um... I just loved going out there and shooting, spending a couple hours not having to talk to the camera, not being the center of attention, just going out and shooting. So this was part two. Probably could have made it three parts even, but if you missed part one where I selected the images where you can see all of them and how I got to whittle it down to the 107 or 105, then break it down to the 40, you can click on the screen to go do that or hit that info button because it will take you over to that. So that is it. That's two parts showing you how I take the whole process from start to finish. I would export these. I would save them in different sizes. I would deliver them digitally using Dropbox. And that is where I'm going to leave it. Guys, please subscribe here on YouTube. If you like this free content, it is free content. You don't have to pay for it. Um, I really appreciate that you watch it. And if you want me to keep making more and more and taking my time in doing this, please support me any way that you can, whether it's subscribing here on YouTube or picking up any of the video guides that I have. Go to fronosphoto.com, check out the video guides, whether it's the Fronos Photo Guide to Getting Out of Auto, the Fronos Photo Flash Guide, or the Fronos Photo Guide to DSLR Video. By picking up those products and purchasing them or purchasing shirts at store.fronosphoto.com, you are making sure that I can continue making making you better content and keep it free and keep it coming so that you can watch it and enjoy it and learn from it. And that's where I'll leave it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.